Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia Mac Tutorial today on notifications for your Mac, how to change them, uh, change them around, where to put them, and also when to notify you. So what we're going to do is first step is to go down to the bottom of your dock and hit System Preferences. It's the cog, and it's usually kept on the very right. So once that's open, this is basically the hub for everything you'd like to change on your Mac or your preferences. So in the personal category on the top, we can come over to notifications. If you have an iOS device, this will be very familiar for you as it kind of runs on the same scheme level uh, as everything like that as alerts are the same for the iOS devices. So the alerts appear in your upper right of your screen. You've probably seen them before if you're running uh, your Mac and you've noticed them and you probably, if you're new, you probably didn't know what they're coming through for or what they are if you've never experienced notifications before. So over the side, we can notice that in Notification Center are the ones uh, that are going to send you uh, that notification so we can see calendar, FaceTime, mail, messages, etc. Uh, the main one for you is probably going to be messages if you're receiving iMessages on your Mac. They'll be coming through quite constantly and they're the ones that will uh, shoot off in the upper right corner and will notify you when anything comes through. But what we can see here is if I click on calendar, it will ask me what alerts I like for calendar alert style. So we have none if you don't want any. We have banners and we have alerts which has uh, other, other options and the one I suggest is alerts as it is probably the best suit for your Mac. But you can also turn them off if you really did want to not have any notifications for particular things. Uh, so what we can see here is showing notification center, the five most recent items. We can change it around if you just want one, or if you're more frequent and you'd like that many not notifications, uh, if you're quite busy, then I would suggest changing it up to, you know, 20 or 10. You can also choose to show the badge up icon and also play a sound when receiving notifications. So if your Mac is idle and you just went out to get something from the kitchen, for example, it would still play a sound uh, so you know when a notification comes through but otherwise you just have to be on the screen to see the notification. So it's probably best to keep the sound on there so you know uh, whenever time your notification does come through. So that's a great opportunity to change uh, if you didn't know how to change around or modify anything you would like. So if you want, I can change it to none, which would mean that alerts do not come through, or banners or alerts. So play around with that yourself uh, if you just maybe activate messages or reminders. So set a reminder, we can probably do that. So reminders here, if we set a reminder for that, uh, say five minutes after this video, put a reminder on, uh, look at your screen and see what type of alert comes through and what your preference is going to be for all your uh, settings. And also keep these buttons on here if you really want to get uh, notified wherever you are, keep the sound on and also you can change the frequency of uh, the notifications. So that's about it. It's very simple to change your notifications. Uh, just remember for each particular one, click on the side uh, to show which one wants to go through. So you can see every time I click on a different app, it uh, changes it, say, up here at mail alert style or messages alert style. So remember you have to do that every single time uh, for particular applications you want to change. So hopefully you learned how to do that on your Mac. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Uh, anything I didn't cover, please leave a comment and I'll just help you out there. Uh, please share and subscribe. By the way, we have the Facebook page now, so go ahead and like that to keep updated. Facebook.com slash Australia. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.